Guys, welcome back. Well, I was able to pull it loose, pull it off the front end. We still kept our shape. So that's good. All that's hardened up. So now, see how we got the lip built there on the inside? The factory one. Well, see, yesterday, I rolled it over. So I got my little lip. It ain't super, super strong yet, but it ain't weak neither. So what I'm gonna do, I took all this. I had all this taped up against the back of it, like this. So now I pull this down. Like this, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna fiberglass out all the way around to the edge. I'll come back through and I'll cut me a line once I get all this fiberglass. This is what'll make it really, really strong. So I just need to measure from this point to that point and make sure we're the right distance with it laid on the ground. I'm gonna fiberglass this. I'm gonna fiberglass that, that, and that little spot. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the, just the lips right now. So all we're focused on the lip because that's what makes it strong. Once I get, <clears throat> once I get that fiberglass, then I'm gonna come over here and it'll be, it'll, it'll have a shape, and then I can lay this up. This right here is stiff right now, but I still have to go through and fiberglass this in. I still have to, to box, and I just can't leave that resin. I mean, I got one layer of fiberglass and then the resin. It ain't strong enough to keep it from breaking. So, like, so once I patch up all these little spots here and get the bottom, I'll stand it up on its nose and I'll go ahead and fill that in or whatnot. And then I can also, uh, I can trim some of this out. I might even, I might even take the cardboard off if I don't know yet. I might pull the cardboard off and just lay some more layers up in there once I get the rest of it fiberglass. Might just leave the cardboard in it. I like the way it looks, it's cool to look at it. It don't, that cardboard don't care. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I gotta trim off this top edge here we got to get it level and get it done. But like I said, we're getting there to fit and finish. It's going to look pretty good, I think. All right, we got some on there, 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 and there. I went ahead and sealed it off around the top. We're letting it dry. Let it cure for a few hours. And I'll come back in here and you see you start seeing my lips. So I'll, I'll make it about the same width as that there. So I made it extra wide. I tried to trim it off. I'll trim off all that. And once I start getting it all trimmed off, I still got this little patch there to fix. And then I got a little spot over here on the front. I got to touch up. I said, tell me that thing ain't gonna look good. You can already see the shape of it, that's the key. Anytime you do a, like a fiberglass job, you gotta make sure it ain't so much. See, this thing's rough. But see, my sander will sand that down. That's not no problem. Cause what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in here and sand off all the high spots. And get it smooth as I can. And then I'll come back and I'll barely glaze it with some Bondo and it will be ready for some primer. Like I'll glaze the Bondo and I'll primer it. But like I said, the main thing is having the contour the way you need it. And I still got to be, I got to build this up a little bit more. But all in all, it's looking good. I know it looks like crap, but it's going to look good. I promise you. So by the time I'll trim that off, I'll paint all that black on the inside. It won't be bad. It'll look decent. It'll save me a couple dollars. Get me back to the racetrack looking like I did before, so I'll be happy. I have to get a friend out of some water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now we're gonna go through and put the finishing touches on the inside of this. I bet you didn't think it was gonna look like that, did it? We still got the cardboard underneath. We're gonna take this right here, this map. I'm gonna mix this fiberglass and I'm gonna paint it on all the way around and let it cure, let it bond to the actual fiberglass itself. So I got it taped up right here. Well, I'll probably just pull it back off and, and paint it real quick, then I'll stick the mat to it, and then I'll go through and tape it on, the, or then I'll go through and paint the back side of it to get the layers. And this should be all I need to do right here to get this squared away, and then I can go start getting on the outside and start sanding it. I got plenty enough built up on the outside, I just wanna brace this up as much as I can and make it as smooth as possible so when it's touching my car, it ain't just freaking tearing the paint up on it. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll be done with this part. All right, we got it covered. So we're gonna let it sit here and do its thing. It's curing right now. And I'll come through, trim it all out. We'll scuff it, we'll sand it down to where it's somewhat smooth. So like I said, so it don't tear the paint up. I'll throw a little paint over it. You'll never be able to see that down, uh, that box and all that stuff. Well, you'll be able to see it because you'll know it's there, but I'll trim off that top edge where I fiberglassed it over. We'll 
should be good after this one. You're ready to start sanding it. Man. There's some good people in this world. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I really am. Oh, uh, I sent her to shop just a little bit ago. And Kelly Hull, Carol, uh, his name's Caroline Customs up on here. He comes out to Shadeside. He's a fireman. He's got a YouTube channel. He's just now starting. He's just now doing some recording on it and all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link, put a link below to his channel or whatever. But he ended up, y'all go ahead and check him out and subscribe to him. Like he was cutting out a tree, that's some pretty cool stuff. But that ain't the point of it. The point of it is, like I said, go check him out. Just for me, go check him out. He, uh, he hit me up, he said, Sanchez, I'm gonna come by. He said, I'm gonna see you. He said, you gonna be around the shop, he's gonna bring you something. I said, yeah, I'll be there. He says, all right, so he comes by, he comes in, he's carrying, he comes in here and he's carrying a sticker. He has this right here. Boost is my friend. He's made me a sticker on his vinyl machine. And I'm like, that's cool. He's like, you know, if you don't, he's like, if it don't fit the front of the car or, or if it ain't what you want, he was like, you can throw away some scrap stuff. He said, but I also got this for you. So the other day, wait before we get there. The other day, the biggest thing about my wreck that aggravated me was them tail lights because they're hard to find. If you look, they're old. See the silicone, they were on my other car. The back bumper, the tail lights, and the trunk deck's the only thing off the car I totaled that I had left. But them tail lights, are, those were actually the covers somebody put on stock lights while they're silicone like that. But them tail lights, those are my ghost tail lights. Those are them Anthony Ballard tail lights. Look at them. He knows all about them. But, anyways, he said, Man, he said, I found you something. He said, I heard you telling your son the other day about that. Look how pretty them things are right there. Tell me how good they go. Comment below, tell Kelly, thank you. Carolina Customs, tell him thank you for turning around and, and buying them for me. Look how good them things look. I'm blown away at the condition, the shape of them. Like that, them things look good. There's always a hard time trying to find them lights. I mean, like I said, a few years ago, it took me years to find those lights right there. And I bought them used off a guy off Craigslist or whatnot off his car and put them on my car because I always, that was always my favorite light. And uh, for him to find some, to buy some, send me some without anything, he told me, he said, man, he said, you ain't gotta put it on video or anything. He said, I didn't, I didn't do it for video. He said, I don't because I wanted you to have it. He said, I heard you telling Caden that, you know, it bothered you that you broke your tail lights. But he said, and I started looking, calling around and I, I found a guy that had some and I, I, bought, I bought you a set of them. So I said, I really appreciate you, Kelly. I said, I'm putting it on video because I show my drivers I always, I don't expect nothing in life for free. I don't, I just, I'm not that type of person. So if I can pay something, and I try. Just like John Setzer give me that bar and give me the tires, I'm appreciative. So if y'all need race car stuff, check out John Setzer. People buying shirts, go over there. You know, people, people help me out. Rock Pit Knowledge, you know. All these people, have input and they help me. This is a people's car, really, you know? But like I said, I appreciate y'all, you know? Check out 89 Boosted Super, 89 underscore Boosted Super. He bought a t-shirt off of me or whatever, Kenny Lifford. He's got a little YouTube channel. Everybody that has a YouTube channel that's helped out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link them below. Y'all gonna get these guys to subscribe, help them out with their channel or whatever. You never know what it'll take. You never know what kind of person can influence you off what grows throughout YouTube. Like, you never know, like, the start of YouTube, how much something grows and grows and grows and how much more of a personality comes out of it from watching people turn around and uh, go through their everyday life. So y'all got to subscribe to all my people that's helped me out. I said, we appreciate that, Kelly. Check that out. I love the snow plow. Makes front of this car look complete. And look at this, is that right here when I fasten this up right here? A little spot right here, but it looks like this might have been in a bump up at one time, but tell me how good that's gonna look. I'm gonna get my sander out quick one way and start sanding in the face of that. We're getting there. I've sanded the fender, sanded the quarter. I'm gonna hit the door later. I've been sanding this, so that's where all the dust has come from, so. But you can already get ideas. It's gonna look good, ain't she? Took a break for a minute, so we come over here and well, the perch is on James' new 880 put on his truck under here, so he's under there now putting the U-bolts and all back in it. 
getting ready for Shady Side tomorrow. And I got him some old radio pros on some new wheels. You ready to rock and roll?